In this video, I'll be talking about the table feature in Excel 2007. Now, the table feature is a really nice capability in 2000, Excel 2007 where you can manage and analyze large amount of data. So basically, we would have data here in a table format. You would have your columns that would have the table headings, uh, excuse me, the column headings that will represent the specific criteria for each column. And then each row would be the unique values for that, for those criteria. So in order to create a table, there's two ways we can go about doing it. One is to go into the ribbon menu. We're in the home tab in the ribbon menu and click on the format as a table icon. So we can see here there's a different amount of formats that we can use. Um, Let's say, for example, we choose this uh, black and gray one here. And what it, Excel does is it's going to ask you where's the data for your table. And Excel's pretty smart in terms of trying to figure out already where the data resides. So it picked out uh, the references from A1 to C9. And there's also this checkbox for my table has headers, so basically the labels for each of your columns. So once you click OK, what Excel is going to do is format that table in the design that you picked. Now let's go ahead and press Control Z or just go ahead and click the undo button here. And there's another way to actually create a table. Um, and it's a keyboard shortcut. And what you can do is just highlight anywhere in the range of cells where your table is going to be and press the Control T button, T for table. And it's going to bring up that same window that's going to ask you uh, for this, these parameters. So go ahead and click OK. And basically it gives us the default format for the table. In, in this case, it's uh, the blue the blue background color for the table headings and the white uh, font color. And they have different band colors for each row, so you can be able to uh, separate the rows visually. So it gives you a nice visual look uh, for the table. So with a table, what it does is also creates these nice little handy drop-down arrows that enable you to sort or filter your data. So for example, let's say we just wanted to, we want to sort based on smallest to largest. Well, this capability lets us do that. We're here, we're, the, we're going from the, the smallest to the largest. Let's go ahead and control Z to undo that. And there's also a filter feature. Um, many of you may be familiar with the filter feature. I'm just gonna, there's some examples here. You can filter for uh, values that equal a certain parameter or begins with something or contain something. So in this case, let's just try, we just wanna see uh, all the all the all the female population counts uh, in this particular table, and it'll give us that. So let me go ahead and unselect that, clear the format there, clear that filter there, and so that's kind of a nice uh, feature for the table. What we can also do is we when we want to ins insert rows or columns, what the Excel table does is it keeps the same formatting. So let's say for example, if I go down into this next cell and I press Tab and I want to enter in uh, another parameter for the sex, maybe decline to state. And we'll, maybe this is in the West. And maybe we have uh, 50,000 people decide, decline to state. So that enters in all that <clears throat> information there with the formatting that is the same as the rest of the table. Let me go ahead and delete that. I'll right click on that row, right click, and then click delete. Now, if we wanted to enter new values for a column, we can just go up here into the cell, for the column adjacent to the last column here. And let's say, for example, I wanted to uh, enter the percentage of uh, the population. I want to figure out what percentage of the population. Popu, population. There we go. What percentage of the population uh, does this represent for the total? Let me go ahead and double click this here to uh, auto size the uh, column here. And what I can do is go into that cell. As you see here, before I talk about that, as you see here, it, it copied the same kind of formatting for this column. So that's kind of a nice thing about the tables. It, ke it keeps the formatting when you add rows or columns. So let's say, for example, now I wanted to calculate some things. And when I entered this column, I wanted to calculate the percentage of the population. Well, for that, I can put, just put an equal sign here and select this cell. And uh, let's see, we'll do divide by the sum of the whole here, the sum of these counts. Okay, that was open parentheses, close parentheses. And once I press enter, you'll see a really cool feature of Excel is that it once you have created a formula for one cell 
and it will copy down that formula and adjust it for each of the each of the uh, different rows for the rest of the column. So that was kind of nice. So it kind of basically moved that formula down. And one thing to notice about the um, Excel tables in 2007 is the nomenclature here. So you may be used to seeing uh, a formula indicate the cell references, such as in this example, we would say this is cell C, this this particular formula has cell C two, basically column C, row two, divided by the sum of uh, the range from column C two to C nine. Well, for Excel tables, they have structured references, and basically what it's telling us here is on this table, table 10, this whole table, Excel calls it table 10. We can actually change the name of that. We'll look at this row and look at the count row, count, the count column, and we're going to sum the count column. So that's what it really basically means. Now, table 10 doesn't really mean a lot. Um, if you're ever going, ever going to use uh, this table and maybe apply other formulas to it and and you want to have a nicer way of uh, indicating this table so we can actually change that name for this table and that could be done in the I believe it's the data no it's going to be the uh, formula tab, the formula tab in the ribbon and go to name manager and we, when we click name manager it brings up the name manager these are the names of things in the spreadsheet so for example when Excel created a table it gave the table the, the name of table 10. Well, we can change that. Let's go ahead and change it. Let's edit it. And let's just call it uh, pop, pop for population. Click OK. And it changed it right there. Click Close. And we look at it, when we look at your formula, we'll see that it references the pop table, which we just called this here, the pop table. So that's another neat feature about Excel 2007 is these structured references and the ability, ability to change names in, in the tables that we have here. So that's cool. Another thing that we can do with the Excel tables is calculate different things on the table. So what we can want to do, if we want to do this, we can go back to the Home tab here and go ahead and look at the Table Tools contextual menu and go under the Design tab and we have this Total Row checkbox. Go ahead and check that. And what we have here is this total row that gets entered in row, row 10 here. What we can do, well, let's go ahead and uh, let me change these to percentages, make it a little bit nicer here. Change those to percentages. What we can do here in the total row is it gives us a range of functions that we can use. So maybe we just, we don't want a total, we want to get a count. These are, there, there's a count of eight values here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or we want to get the the maximum value here, the maximum value is 18, so the largest population percentage is if are females in the south. Not only does it let us total in this column, but we have other columns that we can get totals for. Let's say, for example, we want to get the the total, the sum of uh, the overall population. So we have it here. So this is really a nice feature because not only do you have these functions that are available, you can also click here to the more functions and it will open up the insert function window and you can play around with different other functions that are available in Excel uh, from uh, math functions to lookup functions etc. So there's a lot of nice little handy features there. Let me go ahead and cancel out of that. So one more, one more thing before we leave. The tables are really nice in terms of these headers because if you have a long list of rows, see what happens when I scroll down. Look at the top here where it used to have the cell references, now there's the labels for each of the columns. So it's very nice visual uh, look when you are scrolling down, you have lots, lots of large data. You can, you can see which column you may want to reference to. So let me go ahead and pull this back up. So the table feature in Excel 2007 is a really nice and handy feature to be able to manage and analyze data. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.